Whether you're at school saying the Pledge of Allegiance, or at a baseball game singing the National Anthem, or just driving past a building flying the Stars and Stripes, we are constantly reminded that, hey, you're in America. Of course, being an American citizen means a whole lot more than songs and flags. Let's dig into it. So what is a citizen in the first place? Basically, being a citizen means you're a member of a country. It's like being a member in a club. Hmm. Yay! This can come with some benefits and also some responsibilities. Citizenship is different in every country, so we'll focus on America to keep it simple. Yay! In the United States, citizens get special protections from the government. We have freedom of speech and religion. We're allowed to speak out when we think something is wrong, and we can even gather together in protest. As a citizen, we have the right to vote and run for office, so we can be part of leading the country and changing it. It's important to recognize that not every country lets its citizens do these things. In some countries, citizens can't vote or speak up when they think their government is doing something wrong. There are a lot of perks to being a member of the American Country Club. On the flip side, what about those responsibilities that I mentioned? First off, you have to obey the U.S. Constitution and laws. Makes sense. Plus, there are a few other requirements, like paying taxes, or serving on a jury if you're called to do so, or joining the military if you get drafted. These are all specific laws. Going beyond those basics by voting or staying involved in your community are seen as doing the duty of a good citizen. They aren't required, but definitely appreciated. Now that we've got the club rules out of the way, the question remains, who gets to be a US citizen? Well, if you were born in one of the 50 states, you're in the club, it's that easy. If you weren't born in the US and want to become a citizen, it's a little bit trickier, but possible through a process known as naturalization. The naturalization process is for applicants over 18 years of age who have legally been in the country for at least five years and are good folks. They also have to have basic English skills and they have to be willing to promise their allegiance to America. Applicants must pass an interview with an official to make sure they've followed laws and are ready to take on the responsibilities of citizenship. Then they take a knowledge test about America's history, government, and other workings. If they pass, the applicant makes an oath of allegiance to America and is sworn in at a courthouse by a judge. Then they're finally entitled to all of the rights that native-born citizens enjoy. Kids who want to become U.S. citizens are able to do so once their parent is naturalized. No test required. Naturalization ceremonies are serious for citizens, but also super exciting. If you get the chance to meet a new citizen, be sure to say congrats and welcome to the club. Yay! 